What serves one person might not always look pleasant in society's eyes. What do you mean? That the choices that he makes might actually be perfect for his journey. And that by taking away his catalyst, his pain, his suffering, his challenge, his struggle, his addiction, by taking that away for him against his free will, a few things will happen. A, you will postpone his eventual epiphany. You will make him use again because... He might stop at some point, but if it's not out of total free will, it's not permanent. You're giving off the vibe that something is wrong, not that everything's perfect. Right. You will emphasize that, and therefore you will continue to exacerbate his struggle, even though you don't want to. Right. And by exacerbating his struggle, he'll probably feel more addicted or grab for the things that he knows makes him feel different or good. In this case, potentially heroin. Right. Wow. So paradoxical as it sounds, in order to establish the effects you want to establish, you need to let go of your need and desire for that. And you need to actually see it differently. Now this may take a little bit of time, maybe not, but this might take a little bit of tweaking of your own ways of seeing. And I know that that is hard from your present point of view, mm -hmm. because it seems like a really extreme case. And I'm not necessarily saying that it's not, but on the global scale of things that are occurring, it's quite all right. It's quite, it's, it's quite average in certain ways. Right. It might just be heroin for him, but there's worse ways to be addicted even than that. In other words, try to gain as much perspective for yourself as you can. See it in the larger picture of both his journey, well, mostly in the larger picture of his journey. See that he is not alone. He is guided. The most profound way you can help him is by helping him understand his emotional guidance system. Does that make sense? Yes. That when he feels bad, it's because his perspective is out of alignment with however you want to communicate that to him, his soul, his overall perspective, his inner being's perspective, something that guides him. Okay. Point him to the fact, if you can, without infringing upon his free will, but out of respect and out of love, if you can somehow show him, most of all by example, right. secondarily by instruction and education, mm -hmm. that he has a guidance system that's always with him. And that if he feels bad about something, that doesn't mean something is actually wrong. It means that his perspective about what is, is out of alignment. Okay. And that he always has the tools he needs, if he wants to, and that he can develop those, that there's tools out there, people live like this. That he can very quickly bump himself back into alignment and start to generate a very ecstatic, liberated life without the means of drugs, etc., so that he can actually find his balance, find his alignment, find his power within himself. Now that's the only way you can help him, not by changing his journey, but by educating his journey, by enlightening his journey, by shedding as much brightness, light, love, unconditional love and freedom and tools, for example, onto his journey that you can, so that he has much more to choose from. You cannot choose for him, but you can offer him more to choose from. In order for you to be able to fully efficiently do that, you need to first change your perspective about his state being wrong and see it as the most beautiful thing that ever happened to him. Okay. And make no mistake, that is how his higher self sees it. It doesn't mean his higher self is not also coaxing him back into alignment in a more proficient way. It doesn't mean his higher self doesn't also desire for him to like learn the lessons as smoothly and beautifully and fast as he can so that he can be in alignment and recognize that power consciously and call on it all the time and develop a healthy, mutual, two-way communication with his inner being. Yes, that is also in his higher self's desire. But also, higher self or higher mind is still guiding his process. It is still preventing it from going too far out of alignment while still respecting his free will to make his choices and see things the way he wants to see it. But it's always there, it's always coaxing him, it's always guiding him He's never alone. He's taken care of. He has a higher self. He has a journey. And this is a part of it at this timing. Can you embrace that? Awesome. That's beautiful. That's a great act of love. And whenever we act on unconditional love, every part of us gets activated and amplified and redoubled in that sense. 